Forecast technical video a day. Today is Wednesday, uh, November 21st, around 10 30 p.m. Eastern Time. time. Guys, uh, no change in the outlook uh, as expected. A very slow market. And I'm going to try to do at least a five minute videos maybe today and tomorrow if any change. If no, at least today and then tomorrow we will see. Alright, so the overall, the overall view it remains the same which is the one that say that the cycle from most likely from September 14 in the dollar ended and the dollar should trade lower to at least to at least uh, 80 area around the 80 80 80 10 area before if it's gonna renew to the outside it's gonna be from there otherwise the dollar has a top on it and it's gonna start trading lower step by step mm. the one hour trend on the dollar as you guys can see in this charge remains the same the path remains the same and we are expecting today or tomorrow a temporary low in the dollar around 8045 a pullback and most likely a continuation to the downside uh, the best way to look at this is as follow if we add to discharge of the dollar the euro dollar is very everybody can see that from here we have one two three four five swings there are no ways there are five swings there is no divergence in the top consequently it is no a five way swing it's a five swing consequently because there is no correction in five swings needs to be a six and a seven uh, consequently that's gonna mean more US dollar win next in the near future over here now after the seven swing the decline is gonna determine if both the dollar and the euro the dollar is gonna rally again or the euro is gonna be sold or if the euro is gonna be rally and the dollar is gonna be sold so don't worry about that right now for now I recommend to you guys any three ways back still in the one hour within the dollar within the dollar group should be a should be a buy against the dollar. In other words, any three ways put back in the dollar should be a sell. All right, that's very clear there, and there is no reason to, on the street to look otherwise. Now, th that's it for the dollar. Another one is the DAX look the DAX is ending a cycle and I tell you the truth guys the DAX is already to be honest with you in the 50% put back right here and that's one swing so if we take a look and and I want to mention that nothing nothing really really has nothing really had invalidate yet the four hour trend against the risk trade all the charge is still I mean I'm talking about the euro the dollar group the indices all of them are in, in against the risk trade but there are two charge that came out to my attention the first one is this one this is the DAX look if we assuming that the whole group ended the correction for September 14 right here the DAX is very deep because it's the first one that already reached the 50% back and it reached the 50% back in one swing so I don't want to say it or anything like that yet because we don't have confirmation but we've been saying all over that any pullback in risk should be bought should I mean any pullback in any index in our opinion it should be bought because there is a possibility it hasn't been confirmed yet that the dollar has found 
a temporary top and that the rally that we were expecting is starting to take place so any three ways back in the DAX in the S&P in the UK please if you can buy it cause I mean things can be on the works alright things can be on the making there also in the same kind of point right here this is something that we want to show you guys this is uh, this is the 10 year note the 10 year note also we are in the same boat if you guys look at it from the high right there let me show you from the highs we can see a clear cut three way move now these things is getting deep in one swing which I mean is almost at the 50 in one swing and then is 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 it let me let me explain to you guys let me see if I can express what I'm thinking in my mind it's very deep in one swing but remember guys the B ways are time consuming when you talk about B ways, B ways most of the times are time consuming. What I means with that is that what I means with that is that if we are already at the 50 and it hasn't yet I mean it's at the 50 and listen, this is nothing comparing time with the three ways time that consumed right here. Look. A A way, look at the B way how consumed the time was. And then a C way. So with that in mind, what I'm trying to say is that the move in risk has been very strong. And I won't be surprised to see that a law is already in place. So but we need to give you more time to the risk on trade. But please buy the the six swing in the case of the euro if you guys want to do it buy it here and also sell the dollar and in every single index in every index please buy the this swing also in favor of risk I want to mention also here that because the 10 years note they got they got a good speed to the outside here it can be made the case now look the correlation between the 10 year and the dollar very well correlated same date same date so like I say I mean too early to tell that the dollar and the risk of trade there has a bottom already it's too early to tell but I can tell you guys we gotta be careful with the dollar let's don't sell the euro don't sell cable wait for the one hour train if it's gonna change to the downside wait for the one hour train to change again in favor of the risk of trade because this is how the this is how the change happen guys from now one day one day happens and uh, I mean and one day happens and nobody say how we didn't know about it yeah we had let you guys know that a put back I mean uh, that a put back is about to take uh, is it should happen in the risk trade and that that put back should be bought in the index and the same should be bought in the six uh, swings of the US dollar and the euro all right so let's leave it there I'm sorry it's a short video but no much to say and follow the trend report with the charge and you guys should be okay thank you guys